Previously on Magnum Opus. I know this place. I gave him ASAMs. What the hell happened here? That's close enough. Who are you? We're just looking for some gunners. That's all. Gunners? You with the gunners? We were hoping to discuss something with them. If you want to strike up a conversation, go ahead. I believe that one was the leader. If you don't mind us asking, what went down here? And who are you? Gunner expansion. They tried to seize this place. Locals resisted. Maybe even fought back. A maiden. And without sounding too melodramatic, I hunt down gunners. What's this all about? Gunners have been unusually active lately, laying claim to territory all over the Commonwealth. This place used to just be a solitary hut. I've no idea how they built up so damn fast. Don't tell me the gunners attacked this place because I gave them ASAMs. Then this attack was your fault. Hey! Now you just wait a minute! Whether it was intentional or not, you made them a target. You can't blame me for what the gunners did! Folks deserve the opportunity to make a better life for themselves! Say what you like about them, but the gunners run a tight operation. Sooner or later, they'll figure out what happened here. Chances are you and your partner will be flagged as persons of interest. Oh, great. That's precisely the kind of thing we came here to avoid. You can expect more gunner attention from now on. Oh, and cut the charity with those sensors. They're just chum in the water. You... don't think he was right, do you? That given these people ASAMs made them a target? You didn't know. It's not your fault. <sighs> Thanks. We have an emergency here. Austin got bit by a mole rat. Isn't that enough, Jacob? I can't treat Austin until I know what he's infected with. I think I found something that might help Austin. Well, you know that door Austin found? He found it because of me. What did you find in that place? It's like a whole extra vault in there, but half ruined and caved in. There was this terminal there. So I started poking around in it. There were some notes and stuff about using mole rats to grow viruses. But they also said that they used them to make vaccines and treatments. There might be a cure for whatever Austin got from that mole rat somewhere in that place. You there, how would you like to do Vault 81 a favor and possibly save my boy's life? Who the heck are you? I am a contagion vulnerability robotic infirmary engineer, or CVR. I, the human scientists call me Curie. These mole rats carry a disease. Do you know anything about it? My poor little darlings. They were used to grow all manner of new and interesting pathogens. Thousands of pathogens were grown in the mole rat hosts. Then a single broad spectrum cure was developed to treat them all. I entrust you with the broad spectrum cure I developed. However, be advised, there is only one dose left, and I can no longer make any more. The cure? You found it? Here. Take the cure and use it on the boy. Please, madame. Can you take me with you? Come along, then. Excellent. Uh. When you play this game enough, you kind of learn what poses are ghouls lying in wait, and which ones are ghouls that are actually dead. Sad, maybe, but it is what it is. And that was not a death pose, that was a I'm waiting to kill you pose. I play this game a lot, don't judge me. Anyway. Let's go meet with the Powells. Hey. Hold it right there, stranger. Excuse the pointed gun routine, but I'm not expecting a caravan today. So, why don't you tell me what you're doing here? I'm here to help you. Oh, help! I see. Is this the part where you helpfully donate some bullets? Maybe maybe r relieve me of the burden of wealth, as if I didn't have enough... Wait, you actually sound like... like you mean that. Oh, uh, I'll be. D did that... did the Ron actually send you? Mr. Slick himself. Well, now I know for sure you were talking with him. <laughs> Leaves an impression, doesn't he? Huh, uh... 
I have to admit, I'm a bit embarrassed about the, the gun now. I'll just uh, put that away now. Whoop. Well, let's, uh, let's get inside before it gets more awkward. Uh, my wife's better at making guests feel welcome after I uh, pointed a gun at them. We'll lead the way then. Your walk speed is slightly faster than mine. Someday a game will get this little walking speed thing right, but that day is not today. Super secret submarines, a cruise ship, and the mistress of mysteries. <laughs> now I know why you like this one so much. And there are the two lovely ladies of our humble manor. Jules, Katie, I have good news for a change. Looks like we have a place to relocate after all. Oh, thank God. I mean, welcome to our home. Make yourself comfortable. Can I offer you something to drink? Not sure if you'll like what's on offer, though. I've got fermented brain fungus beer, or glowing mushroom tea with an extra kick to it. Though, I guess it's kind of an acquired taste. Are you even thirsty? I probably should have checked first. I mean, that brain fungus beer, I think. Why don't you just tell me about yourself? I'll take that as a no. Well, we farm fungus. We also eat it. When a caravan passes by, we also sell it. It kept us afloat for a while, and now it isn't anymore, which is why we'd like to move. We wouldn't be able to grow anything here at all if it weren't for our Brahmin Nessie. But even Brahmin crap fertilizer will only get you so far. I'm finding this kind of hard to believe. Well, I didn't say it was easy to figure out the exact diet to make a Brahmin produce fertilizer more useful than it's a... <clears throat> ...gas. Though sometimes, I swear, if Alex would just get his head out from his ass and let me use the ladder, the jet would sell for more than our entire crop. I mean, what's the big deal? Does he think if Katie never hears the word chem, she'll grow to love farming as much as he does? <sighs> Sorry. Just a bit of family drama. You have one of those faces makes me feel like I can tell you anything. Are you sure you don't want a beer? Yeah, I got that real Cyclops thing going here. I'm good for now. Thanks. Probably for the best. It's still experimental. Brain fungus is either chewy like rubber or hard as a brick. The sweet spot between those is tricky. I suppose I should keep the glowing mushrooms for Radaway. If we're moving out this soon, mm, we'll need it for the trip. All right, that concludes the introductions, the tour, and the formal welcome dinner. Short and sweet. Not much to look at, I know, but she's been home to us for a long time. I guess now that you're here, we'll be moving on soon. We started preparing weeks ago when we uh, realized that the last crop wasn't going to get us through the next season. Still a couple things left to pack, though. Uh, if, if you're feeling impatient, ask Jules. She'll know what still needs to be done. You need anything from me? Tell me about yourself. Was not expecting an interview, but uh, I guess you can't just let anyone in, huh? Hope you don't keep people out on the account of being boring. My parents were farmers, and I was one of, well, let's say, uh, seven children on the best day. When I ran off with the caravan, it was one of three. When I came home to share the good news about marrying Jules, well, hard work sometimes just means being a bigger target for raiders. Long story short, we needed a new safe place to settle. Julia turned our Brahmin's fertilizer to gold and gave us a shot at building something here. I worked as hard as my folks did, but I won't make their mistakes. I know when to call quits and move on, and that's why I took the risk of asking for help. You need anything else from me? You ready to head out? Uh, mentally, no, but sentiment doesn't make the crop come in any better. Trust me, I've tried that and about a million other things. If you're itching for something to do to speed things up, Ask Jules. She can get particular about the order things get packed in. Sorry for the cold welcome, stranger. Chokes aside, you never know who's knocking. It's all good. Jules! <clears throat> We're all eager to get going. Yeah? Go on. We've got most of our things packed up besides what had to wait until the last minute. But the biggest problem right now is that my... I mean... Our Brahmin, Nessie... 
got out of her pen last night and, and, and wandered off. Any chance you could lend a hand and go search for her while we wrap up here? We should be ready to go once you're back. Sure. Why is that so important? Well, you're here to recruit farmers, right? And we've managed to turn a barren cave into a farm. Now, Alex knows what he's doing, but without Nessie and the diet I've been feeding her, he could be farming rock for all the fertility this place has. I suppose I could get any Brahmin to produce decent fertilizer, but it takes time to show results that you can already get with Nessie. And besides, Katie grew up with the old girl. After all these years, I guess it's like Nessie's part of the family. Will you help? Sure. All right, I'll do it. Great. Brahmin are creatures of habit. She probably wandered to her favorite pastures by sunshine tidings. You could check there first. Maybe look around for a bit. I doubt she went far. And watch out for blood bugs. Season's coming in early with the rains. I sprayed Nessie with repellent two days ago, but it wears off eventually. It's why I'm so worried about her. Okie dokie. Let's go find your Brahmin. It's a neat little fungus farm, though. Sunshine tidings. Calm down. Just tell me what's going on. Mom said Nessie wandered out to her pasture by that place with the creepy robot. But you're not going to find her there. Franklin the Martian took her. He's an alien, so he likes studying Earth things. Like giddy up buttercup toys, comic books, and Brahmin. I'm sure he didn't hurt her. So you'll just have to go and ask him to give her back, and he will. Who is this guy? Franklin. He's from Mars. Has a spacesuit and a ray gun, but the gun is just for bad people. Raiders don't like aliens any more than Earthlings, so he needs the gun, but he doesn't use it on friends, I swear. And definitely not on Brahmin. If he knew we need Nessie today, he wouldn't have took her. Okay. Uh, sure. Okay. I know how it sounds, really. I wouldn't tell you if I didn't have to. You know, to keep him safe. But I don't want to leave without Nessie. Will you go? I wrote you a note to give to him, so he'll know you're a friend and that I sent you. Okay. What's really going on here? Well, maybe Franklin didn't really take her himself. I just wanted to help him. Mom always talks about how special Nessie is. So I thought, if aliens want to study Brahmin, then they should study the best one around. Maybe even clone her. How cool would that be? No problem. I'll bring her back. Okay. <sighs> I wasn't sure if you'd believe me. I'd go and get her myself. But you heard my dad. Take this note and he'll know I sent you. Franklin lives under the old ranger shack. Nessie is super safe with him, but mom and dad really want to leave soon, so we need her back. It's not far. I can show you where on your map, and you don't have to be scared of him. He's a very nice alien. And remember, no need to hurt him. He's nice. You got it, kiddo. Fortunately, frankly, isn't too far away, but we could check out this tower on the way, which I think there are wolves at the base of. Hey. Oh, wow, this is going really well for me. Let's see if there's any treats up in this tower. Flares will be probably the most important ammo I have later on. It's always good to pick those up. 
We can always craft more too, but just easier to loot them if I can. Uh, this guy is from a mod called Old Time Religion, which I've never played. We will do that eventually. But as I keep saying, I'm trying to stick to like uh, one quest at a time, streamline type deal, so I'll try to remember to do that later. Just the one. Alright, unusual. Alright. Don't yell at me, but this hatch up here is covered in grass because I'm too lazy to open the CK and unpaint the grass on it. What a nightmare. It's a really tiny place. There's nothing in here. All we really need is this little note to Katie. Katie, I moved Nessie into the container where you won at hide and seek the other day. Don't worry, I made sure our ghouly friends know to leave her alone. Franklin. And again, this place isn't too far away either. But there are a number of ghouls. If the note didn't make that clear enough for you. See if I can pick a couple of them off, making life a little bit easier. Oh, there's one. You can find wicked trucks littered all over the Commonwealth, locked up and loaded with loot. Good to know, Heather. Thank you. I thought there was more than one in here, but whatever. I'm getting old, I guess. Memory's gone. But we might as well just take everything. Oh, I accidentally took that hall to tape instead of playing it. But wicked business. Blake, I want you to listen to me as a brother here. This whole deal with Eddie is wicked shiesty. I mean, what kind of business partner threatens to kill you if the deal doesn't go his way? in way over our heads, man. I can't see a way out of this. No way except shutting down and getting out of Dodge. Give me a chance to talk this out with you face to face. I just want both of us to get out of this. Sketch. Hello there. Critical hits when unarmed and melee attacks permanently do plus 5% damage. Thanks, Grognak. Let's check the terminal. The wicked shipping terminal. User Blake Flynn signed in. Cargo manifest. First one. Just says they're sending pallets, uranium pellets, to General Atomics Factory. October 23rd, 2077. And we have... Crates of fuel cells going to Corvega, same day. And lastly, barrels of toxic waste going to mass fusion containment, and the same day again. Log entries. Check this message. Please, kids, remember that deliveries must go through Tim or me before driving out. It's mad important. Do not deliver straight to the client, especially not before we change the papers. Do have me or Tim do a pass over the cargo and sign off. This is big, guys. Don't screw up. Unless you want to end like that last freaking idiot who delivered the full cargo and put our asses in hot water. Boss Man Blake. So obviously they're all working to uh, rip the company off a bit. And that dude on the other holotape wanted out of it. Kudos to him, but... Didn't seem to end very well. And then a bunch of nukes fell and ruined everything anyway, so whatever. Curie, I'm not a doctor, but I do carry the best alternative medicine products in the Commonwealth. Here's a sample for you. And you're giving it away? 
Think of the tremendous opportunity for study. Yeah, I knew you'd like it. I don't think I've ever heard that conversation before. That was pretty cool. Ah! Jesus. That dude appeared as if from nowhere. Sorry, I had a slight heart attack, I think. That's true. I do always have friends. And suddenly I'm jealous of ghouls. I mean, <laughs> I have friends. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure Heather can take care of whatever's out there. Oh no! Let's take a second and ditch all of our crap. I actually do like this scrap submachine gun quite a bit. We'll keep one. You never know. Maybe I'll want it. Alright, I heard a ghoul. Good job, Heather. I just assume she took care of it. Mm. There's nothing on this side. Alright, let's uh, get back to our quest. Hello, Brahmin. Half sunk into the floor. How are you? Good, good, yeah, all right. Uh, there's supposed to be a guy here. Maybe because I didn't open the door myself? Let's try it. In the there we go. In your ignorance, you have invaded the sovereign territory of Mars. I am bound by honor to give you one warning before I take you to the Galactic Court by force. If you resist, I will be forced to use lethal force. Who are you supposed to be? I see your underdeveloped cranium is having trouble beholding the sight in front of it. I am proud citizen and soldier of Mars, and my name, translated to your primitive language, it's Franklin. You're a ghoul. I'm not a ghoul. If you could comprehend my language, you would know that you just delivered a grave insult to my mother. Leave before I get angry. Whoa, whoa. Let's calm down and talk about this. Ah, invoking the interstellar right of ambassadorship. Very well. You may make your case for your presence. Sounds about right. Be warned. Transgressing against the sacred ceasefire will trigger the electro-neuromagnetic traps that will boil the brain of any human in the room. We're not in room, we're outside. What's going on here? Don't try to comprehend it, human. You will only hurt the pathetic pink thing inside your undersized cranium. have something for you. What's this? You have an offering for me? Usually humans bring me items for study, not scribblings. Wait. Katie? She's leaving? But I I mean, I see the chief ambassador has has uh, forget it. No point in keeping up the act now, I guess. It works better on children and Ken Doubt Raiders anyway. So, Katie couldn't come out here herself. And that's why she sent you, Vanessi. That's right. The smelly thing is all yours. Good thing you came. I don't know how much longer I could stand around smelling her fertilizer. And, uh, sorry for the act earlier. I've gotten kind of used to it. But I guess it won't be the same without Katie around. 
Doesn't like me very much after some of the experiments Katie thought would be fun to play at. But she should follow you back to the farm without a fuss. I'll miss Katie. Take care of her and her family, will ya? What are you gonna do now? Probably move on. Find somewhere I can find more salvage. And keep selling alien artifacts to whoever's chemmed out enough to buy them. It'll be lonelier, but maybe I can visit Katie sometime. Once she's settled. But I'm sure she'll forget all about me soon enough. Do you want to set up a permanent shop? I know the perfect place. For real? I didn't expect you to say that. But a permanent place sounds amazing. Yeah, I can see it now. Franklin's Fine Martian Wares. Or Franklin's Emporium of Galactic... No, too long. You've got yourself a deal, human. Nice. Yay. Anytime you recruit one of these special guys, they always unlock their little uh, personal plot or building or something. It's pretty cool. Yay. Anyway, back to the fungus farm, which is that way. Do I have any level ups? No. Okay, good. I've been trying to remember to spend my points so that I don't accidentally stockpile them, as I often do. I'm sure you can see uh, it hasn't been working out so well. We'll be back for you, Eli. Don't you worry. Oh, how do you beat us here? Franklin! Hi, Katie. Hello. Katie's parents. You're Franklin? From Mars? I guess I can see it with the, uh, the suit and the eyes and the gun. Uh, yeah. It's not really true. I'm a ghoul and not an alien. As you can see. I'm sorry for lying, Katie. It's all right. I already knew that. I'm not dumb, you know. I've seen nice ghouls before. But it was so much fun to play, wasn't it? You're a smart kid, Katie. I guess. I guess I needed to believe I was Franklin from Mars. More than you did. Uh, this is all very nice, but what about my... Our Nessie? She's back in her pen, safe and sound. And... I'm sorry for taking her in the first place. I was going to- Franklin, don't say that. Mom, Dad, I was the one that took Nessie out of her pen. I tried to go and get her back, but you wouldn't let me go. And you should have told us that right away. What were you thinking? I was worried sick about her. Mr. Franklin, thank you for keeping Nessie safe and bringing her back. Well, I'm not sure how I feel about you playing aliens with my daughter. She is a very special cow. In fact, if you figure out how to make her milk glow, maybe we could team up. Things that glow sell faster. Glowing Brahmin milk? Improbable, but I doubt anyone's tried before. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I never thought I'd say this, but I'm glad she was abducted by an alien instead of wandering off by herself. And Franklin is... interesting. I always knew Katie was too smart to get that carried away with make-believe, but I wasn't expecting this. He's definitely on to something with his branding, though. I've seen caravans cash out for less. I'll definitely talk more with him on the road. Speaking of, we're all packed up and ready. Are you all set? I am so ready. Anything else I can do to help? Nothing besides the heavy lifting. And that's Nessie's job now that we have her back. We're all set otherwise. How about you? Absolutely. I'm ready to go. So where are we heading? Mm, 
do, do, do. you can go to Starlight. We'll see you there someday. Whenever I get around to it. Now we probably won't be seeing much of those guys until we finish chapter one. Because I will need all those guys for HQ, which is something that comes up a good bit later. Did I forget to do something? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Sorry, hang on. I forgot to talk to Katie. Well, guys are working uh, real hard on this, I see. A little small child. I can't believe you convinced him to come with us. You're amazing, you know that? Oh, I know. so much fun. Once I'm not grounded anymore, anyway. <laughs> True superheroes never ask for a reward, but they always deserve it. I went and grabbed all this stuff from my secret hiding spot for you. Here. Thanks. Yay. Always been my love. Yay! Well, while we're at it, we might as well do the other one. Anton here, he's down a good neighbor. Jesus. Alright, I genuinely don't remember if I have good neighbor on my map. I do! Right, because I went and shot Finn in the face. I remember now. All right, let's go talk to Anton. Hello. Excuse me. Hancock says newcomers are welcome in the third rail. Go on in. Why'd you hesitate there? Hello. Excuse me. Unless you're the bartender, I'm going to need you to get out of my face. Literal egghead. Look at the shape of his head. What's your problem? My problem? Okay, uh, stop me if you've heard this one. A lady walks into a bar and asks me what my problem is. Then Ham and Whitechapel toss her out, and everyone drinks happily ever after. Look, just tell me what you want. Are you lost or something? Lonely? Selling something? I'm here to help you. But who? Wait a minute. Ron? No, no way. Is it so hard to believe? Well, yeah. You met the guy, right? How about that? I figured he'd just taken my money and ran. Or waddled. Slithered, you know. Look, I'm sorry for being a jerk before. I wasn't exactly expecting good news to come walking through the door. Any door, really, but even less so in a place like this. Here's what I need. I have a sister, Audra. She's a good girl, but gullible, you know? She's fallen in with a raider gang, common rad trash led by a guy named Knox. They've been filling her head with chems and God knows what other kind of ideas. And I won't allow my sister to be a junkie. I can't. She's better than that. This family is better than that. And she's all the family I got left. I've tracked them to the Harbor Master Hotel. Ever seen it? It's a trash heap. Suitable enough for scum like Knox. But not for Audra. Come with me. Help me get my sister back. Please. I have some questions first. Ask them then. What did she do? Audra's a smart kid, but only when her head is clear. And I'll be honest, in the past she's needed frequent uh, reminders of why that's so important. She ran away from me about two weeks ago. And this time is going to be the last time. That much I know for sure. Who are these guys? Raiders? Degenerate scum. Not one of them would know an honest day's work or an honest man's worth. And this Knox? He's poisoning Audra's mind. If these animals want to wallow in shit and waste their lives, that's one thing. But my sister knows better than to lie down with filth. Once we get her mind clear, she'll remember that. I'll make sure of it. 
So, where do I come in? Look, I'm better at building doors than kicking them down, all right? I'm not a fighter. People like them survive the waste by taking what honest men earn, and then needling their veins until the insanity of it all starts to fade. People like them aren't worth saving. But Audra is. I just... I can't do that on my own. I don't have any more questions. Sounds good. Let's go. All right. I'll follow your lead. And look, I really appreciate what you're doing for me, but don't underestimate these guys. And Audra, well, let's just keep her safe. She never could manage that on her own. Okie dokie. Just so I don't get confused. Get out of here. Just want to make sure I don't have other quest markers selected so that I am I'll following the right one. Someone new. Uh, not right now, Audrey. Nope, 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 nope. Audrey is a custom companion from 3D NPCs. We will get to her soon enough. But I want to stay focused. But let's see if I have anything to sell first. Guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. Except me. I only kill when I want to. Who? What are you? I'm a woman, baby. Can't you tell? Oh, of course you are. It's just all those metal plates. You're a robot, right? A very womanly robot. Designation Assaultron. Designed to provide a variety of security-related tasks to the modern man. Runtime conclusion. Why work for the man when you can work for yourself? New designation. K-L-E-O. Cleo. Fully independent small business owner. Robot enough for you, smooth talker? Now what are you buying? Let's see what you have. Each weapon tested on someone who deserved it. Damn, brutal. Uh, I know I dropped a bunch of shit recently, but you never know. Might have some stuff. Not really. Do you have any cool weapons? I'm not a huge fan of the sniper rifle, though. I could use a nice rifle. Surplus rifle. Yeah, we're going to get that. That sounds nice. I really like that gun. What kind of ammo does that take? 5.56? Five, five, um, what other ammo types do I need? 10 millimeter, 308. I guess that's about it. Thanks. What the hell? Did somebody just die next to me? These guys are always here. Anyway, uh, to the Harbor Master Hotel. Which. I'm trying to think of the best way to go because that way it takes us through a bunch of super mutants. And this way is kind of a long way around. I think the roundabout way is a little bit safer though, so. I hear something. You hear nothing. I am like a ghost. Jesus. There's a bunch of super mutants this way too. Hello, night kid. I see you. Jesus. Get up. Oh, 
artistry departments. That's for a different quest later on. Hey, hey! Why can't we all just live in peace? Hasn't humanity been through enough? Damn it. Thanks. God, I'm just useless today. At least I can shoot the stationary targets, I guess. Moving on, though. Good thing Heather's here, because I can't shoot for shit. Oh, hello. Wow, awesome shot. Sure did. I'm gonna blame my terrible shooting on the fact that it's nighttime and it's hard to see anything. Oh my god, there's so many people. I'll take the laser sword, why not? Place looks empty. Let's take a look around, see if we can figure out where they went. I did notice, however, during that little skirmish, that I didn't have this favorited, which upsets me. Let me get rid of the defense rifle for now, because I prefer this. Someday I'm going to fix this little double terminal thing, but that day is not today. Besides, you can still see the monitor just fine. Even though there's nothing to see, but you can see it. <laughs> so I'm not that worried about it. Figure if that's the worst bug in the list, you know, that's pretty good, I think. Oh, I leveled up, did I? Well then, let's have a looky-loo. So I kind of want... Aqua Girl... And maybe Action Girl. If I can remember where it is. I can't. It's okay. I'll find it someday. But I, I do think I fixed Sniper here in a recent update, so that's pretty cool. But uh, we'll just take buffness for now, because I don't feel like spending 20 minutes in the perk chart. Mm. I think I just go upstairs. I'll be back! I'm trying to record, buddy. Yeah. Uh, I think it's this one. Piece of junk. If you can read this, then piss off, buddy. <laughs> Issues. I'd call it a good day on account of the stash of chems we found and the caravan coming close enough to get food from, but it ended on an anxious note. Audra went into convulsions not long after we got home, scared the living daylights out of me. Turns out she decided to try Psycho for the first time without telling me. I got her through it with a dose of Addictol, but if I hadn't been there... Hell, if we hadn't found any in that stash. Well, no use for what ifs now. She promised she'll tell me if she starts experimenting again. Knox. Trials. Ahem, <clears throat> trials. Can we uh, actually have a look at that? No? 
I wonder if that entry is not supposed to do anything. But anyway, data. Just because you push down buttons with stickers doesn't mean the thought gets recorded. A billion operations existing in various states cannot be translated into yes-no without loss of data. Maybe that data is what's missing. Audra. She has a tendency to ramble nonsense like that. You'll get used to it. Symbol. Difference and difference is an absence that one cannot define except by the surrounding context. It does not exist and cannot exist without a vacuum to give it the shape of a brain. The words merge if there is no space between them. The difference is a symbol. I can't get this archaic piece of garbage to type. Audra. Solution. Jet seems to be the key. This is both good and bad. Good is self-evident. Bad because this means Anton will never understand or accept it. Not after our parents. He'll either force me off it or... I don't know what else. But I know I couldn't stand to see the look in his eye when I'm like this. Conclusion is pretty clear. I can't go home again. Audra. Free food. Always nice. Free money. Always nice. It doesn't look like we're going to find much here. Is this anything? This world of Volcom is very confusing. Uh, yeah. I used it to build houses for the needy, Kiri. Okay, what the times? Back downstairs we go. Ground floor. Wait a minute. Anton? What the hell are you doing here? Putting what's left of my family back together. Back away from my sister. Do it now. Do it slowly. Or my friend and I will paint the wall with whatever brains you haven't already fried. Jesus. You're gonna kill someone. Listen, please. I know what he must have told you, but Audra, she's not a junkie. She's... She's sick. She's strung out! Just look at her! God knows how many chems he's got in her system! There's nothing in her system right now. That's why we came back here. She forgot her medication. Medication? Don't let this son of a bitch fool you. He's manipulated my sister, and now he's trying to do it to you, too. No light. None. Well, that's weird. There's no voice file. What else could you possibly need to know right now? I think it's because it had the brackets with Anton next to it. I've noticed that kind of breaks dialogue with XDI questions? sometimes. You haven't told me half of what I need to know. I told you what you needed to know, when you needed to know it. Anything beyond that was none of your business, and still isn't. If you expect me to believe you, I want proof. I owe you exactly as much proof as I owe him. Need me to spell out how much that is? I have no idea what's going on here. Audra is different, not wrong. I'm counting on you to know the difference. Don't make me regret it. Never mind. Let's talk to the crazy lady. Unvoiced again. Interesting. So... You can ask me some questions. You can ask me a number of questions, but some is not a number until you made a specified sum. You can <laughs> Jesus. do that. You can look at me and you can see some things, there we go. but you can't see that, can you? <laughs> Are you okay? Okay, okay. You know where I am. And you already know who and what, and I bet you think you know how. Because he sees when it happens, and I see what you talk about. You're always talking, and he's always looking. And both of you are talking and looking, and you add me, and you subtract me, and you get no result. Are you all right? You seem a little jumpy. <laughs> but I solved for distance, no remainders but the fate. I... I went too slowly? No, no, the numbers don't work now. There are new variables and they're standing here right now. There's too many of them unsolved again. Are you happy here? Happy here because I'm not there when I'm here and can't be here when I'm there. And I'm 
object in two separate distances at one time inexplicable? Not possible. Time. Distance divided by rate. I didn't solve for time, but it happened and it keeps happening and it's mine. No subtraction. Mine. Solved for distance. No remainders but the rate. I... I went too slowly? No. I heard this already. I think I've heard enough for now. She's whacked out of her gourd. Can I ask some questions? Yeah. Sure. Sorry. I'm just... It's hard to think with a gun pointed at my head. Is there anything else I should know? All we're doing out here is trying to survive. If there was a way to make Audra better that didn't involve going to chemi care, believe me, I'd do whatever it took to give her that. But the jet is our only option. Please, don't take that away from her. Can I ask you some questions? Sounds like this isn't some normal group of raiders either. Is that what he told you? Jesus, that's different. The last time Anton found us, he told the guy he hired that I was a cult leader or something. I'm not a raider, and neither are my friends. We're just people trying to do the right thing for someone we care about. Well, if something's wrong, maybe I can help. She's not wrong, but she is different. The jet doesn't work on her like it does you or me. For her, it slows down her thoughts to where she can understand them, uh, make sense of them. Without it, she... Well, she's like this. Up for days, writing on the walls, pacing the floors. She doesn't think to eat. And if we've got clean water handy, she doesn't think to bathe. I... I hate it, seeing her like that. But if it were up to her brother... This... What you're seeing right now... Is how she would live the rest of her life. If you could even call it that. I mean, she wrote herself in her journal that Jed is the solution. All right. Well, Can I ask some questions? Yeah. I'm going to trust in Knox and Audrey here. You. Even if you didn't come here to do the right thing, I did. And I will. Audra, please get behind me. Now. Let's do this. Oh, oh, my. Thank you for... Wait. Audra? She hates gunfire. She must have run to her room. We need to check on her and make sure she wasn't hurt. Okay. I feel like that solution is um the obvious choice, though, if you read into it at all. Knox obviously cares for her very much. I'm not saying her brother doesn't, but her brother doesn't have what's best for her in mind. He just has what's best for him in mind. What happened? How did I get here? Who is this? Is everything all right? Better than all right. Our new friend here made sure of that. Wait, I remember there was a shooting and... Anton. Oh, no. He's dead, isn't he? He must be. He's not kicking down the door. I'm sorry. He just showed up. It all went so quickly, and I... It's all right. Well, it will be. I thought I'd finally gotten far enough away from home. But I should have realized he'd never stop looking. I don't know how you got wrapped up in all of this, and I don't really remember what happened in the lobby. But I do know my brother, and I know you did what you had to do. For what it's worth... It was the right thing to do. Even if my brother didn't see that. Even if he couldn't. 
How are you feeling? Thanks to you, I'm feeling, well, like me. But Anton, after our parents died, he was never the same. What happened? Ken's. Dad OD'd first, then mommy a year later. Guess it runs in the family. Makes it hard for me to blame my brother for, well, anything, really. <laughs> I won't lie and say that I never got high, but the first time I tried jet, it was like a whole world came into focus. Days didn't blur into weeks, months anymore. It didn't feel like I was high. It felt like I was here. Really here for the first time. That's when I realized all those chems I'd been doing, I was looking for the right medication. So I started dosing with Jet. Anton couldn't handle it. He kept saying he wanted his sister back, like he never noticed. I'm sorry about all this. You couldn't have known. My brother was always a dichotomous thinker. See a problem, solve a problem. Black and white. Nothing in between. Uh, it gave him focus like you can't imagine. But sometimes it made life hell for me. Him, too, I suppose. You'll have to explain what's going on. People don't know what it's like. Feeling cornered in your own mind. Trying to shut out the voices and the visions and the... unwillness of us all. Once I learned I could live without all of that, it made it so much harder to be pulled back in. I wish Anton had gotten it, even if I understand why he didn't. Would you be interested in coming to work for me? You know what? Yeah, I think I would. What do you say, Knox? Want to help me pay back our new friend for everything she's done for me? For both of us. Hell yes, I do. Before we head out, I'd like to take my brother home and rest him on the hill next to our folks. I can get there and back in a day or two's time. After that, we're at your disposal. And listen, thank you. You're welcome. Go to the drive-in. Ask Theron about his shop and he'll eventually tell you about his recruitment services. He can help you track down people who are in need of help or a new home, for a price. So that is how we will get a lot of our um, good Hi, settlers. Would you like one? Are things okay between you and me? I find these traveling arrangements quite acceptable. How's it going? I wonder if the daytime collecting will serve any purpose. Nothing else I needed. As you say. I don't know why she initiated that conversation there. I have seen pictures of that. What's our affinity with her at? 221. Okay. You don't Hold have a conversation a for me? Or is what it at 250? I wanted to make sure things were okay between you and me. As long as we stay clear of vaults. Okay. I think, um... Nothing else I needed. Not a problem. I think it must happen at 250. So we're almost there. We'll have to check in again later. Noise. That's it. Yoink. Calm down there, Mr. Trash King. Let's have some dinner, shall we? Delicious. I hope we are not mugged. This is common in urban environments. We're not gonna get mugged, Kiri. You're being silly. Hello. Goodbye. Ooh. Nice. So this means the object bounds on this wall are a little bit off. Because that's what uh, broken pre-combines look like. Or just broken pre-vis. 
So if we're standing behind an object, then it unloads everything that the game doesn't have to render, which is what that's doing. So basically the game doesn't know what to show us, it thinks it's, it thinks we're behind a wall. So it's trying to uh, not stress our CPU by loading things we can't see. So that's all that is. Oh no! Hey. Have some garbage. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Boo. Ooh. Hey. Hey. I What's think up? this will look better on you. Oh, you can wear both. Excellent. I didn't know that. Yay. Now you can make a unique powered handmade hazmat suit. Sucks to be that guy. Death from above. Alright, so the only reasonable way to get down from here is to go back through the elevator. And I kinda don't want to, Rangers so let's pick me. something new to do, which is going to be Sim Settlements 2, <laughs> obviously. So what is fast travel there? We'll talk to Jake. They ain't very nice. They're called gunners. So if you see any, make sure you stay far away from them, alright? Okay, now, I gotta go. But wherever you are, stay safe. I'll see you again soon, sweetheart. Ooh, working on something important? Oh, hey, darling. Uh, didn't hear you come in. Turns out our radio connection between the hub and the ASAMs works just fine. I was just recording a message for someone. Who's it for? Uh, yeah. Well, after the whole gunner thing, I just... Uh, well... It's kind of... Ah, uh, this is awkward. I'm sort of hoping to keep this private. <laughs> what I wouldn't give for an interruption right now. Search complete. Huh? Oh, right, I asked the robot to find my screwdriver. <laughs> Good timing. Um, I don't mean to question your logic, Chip, but... Does that look like a screwdriver to you? Affirmative. You know what? You're right. Turns out this hammer is my screwdriver after all. Good work. Now why don't you go patrol or something? Protect and serve. <sighs> that thought ain't right. Anything I can do to help? Hmm. Tell you what, darling. If you can find my screwdriver, I'll tell you who I was recording the message for. It's probably past time I told you anyway. Sound fair? All right. Deal. All right, then. We have ourselves a gentleman's agreement. I'm a gentlewoman. Not a gentleman. Hey! Get back here. Here. Hey, you found it! Thanks. It was driving me nuts looking for this thing. Okay, you held up your side of the deal. I'll spill the beans on who I was recording that message for. Ready for a little history of Jake? Tell me the whole story. All right. Full backstory it is. So, as I'm sure you already figured out, I'm not exactly local to these parts. I come from a settlement called Sanford. You ever heard of it? It's a nice place. Providing you don't mind the odd cyclone or two. What's it like? There are far worse places to be in the wasteland you could find yourself. Life there was hard. But it was home. Anyway, that's where I grew up and became a young man. And where I met this young woman. One thing led to another, and... Uh, well, you know how it goes. You met someone and had a son, and... I met someone and had a... Do you... have a daughter? Yeah, that's right. I had a little girl. I named her Laura. 
And from the moment she was born, that kid became my world. Dude, what, what the? Oh, that damn generator again! This is the fifth time it's stalled today! Is there a problem? It's the old plutonium well. The generator that kickstarts the fission reaction. It's been real temperamental lately. Hey, you, if you wouldn't mind, could you go get it started again for me? It probably just needs refueling. Do, 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 do. This is not the last time we'll be down here. Fortunately, the shortcut is still open, so we don't have to go through the whole song and dance. Yeah, I'd rather keep the adhesive. Yay, power. That's not the right way. All right, let's head back to Jake. See if we can finally finish his story. What? Oh! Oh, hey, everybody! Sir, I can't get past you. It's fine. Well done. Alright. Hey there. Ah, I got the generator humming again, I see. Thanks. It's no fun trying to work in the dark. Now, uh, where was I? Oh, right. So, the years pass. And Laura matures into a healthy and happy young girl. But me and her mother, Caitlin, we begin to realize that besides our daughter, we don't really have much in common. The spark we had when we were younger was long gone. So we decided to separate. And Laura went to live with her mom. <laughs> what, the, what is happening out there? <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. I'd still see Laura all the time, though. She'd come over to my place and... We'd go on little adventures together, build things, read to each other. And at times we were apart, we'd stay in touch using radio. <laughs> she never got bored of her old man. And I, and I never got tired of showing her just how much it meant to me. Apparently the Brotherhood are here. <laughs> oh, I love this game. A child needs all the love you can give them. Truer words have never been spoken. So... One day, I broadcast our usual radio time to say goodnight, but there's no response. Now, you gotta understand, Laura's the most punctual kid you'd ever meet. She was never late for anything. Naturally, I begin to panic a little, worrying if something bad might have happened to her. So I rush over to Caitlin's house and... What happened? One of the worst things. That could ever happen to a parent. Multiple targets Where is that robot? Where are you going? Oh, for crying out loud. Could you go lend the bucket of bolts a hand? As annoying as it can be sometimes, you'd be a pain in the ass to have to rebuild it. Yeah, I can probably do it from here. Or not? Where is it? Oh, there he is. Alright, fine. I'll go down. Hey. Hey. 
Oh, thanks, guys. Thank you, friend. You're welcome, buddy. Hi. Thanks for being with that. Now, let's see if I can finish my story. So, I arrive at Caitlin's house, gun in hand and ready for the worst. I open the door and there was no one there. What do you mean? What happened? At first I thought someone must have broken into the place, abducted Caitlin and my kid. The more I looked around, the more I realized everything was tidy. No signs of struggle. And then I noticed all their belongings were missing. I ran to Laura's room, all her toys, books, even her ham radio was gone. They hadn't been kidnapped. They just packed up and left. What did you do? The only thing I could do. Well, there's no way in hell I was gonna let Caitlin just disappear with my daughter. After asking around, I found out they booked passage on a caravan. They'd set off that very morning. I dashed back home, gathered a few essentials, and set off in pursuit. There's nothing worse than losing a child. Believe me, I know. Yeah, you understand. Anyway, I tracked that damn caravan halfway across the wasteland. By the time I caught up with it, it had made its final stop. Here, in the Commonwealth. Caitlin and Laura had already departed, but I knew where they were now. Since then, I've put out a radio message every night, hoping Laura might hear it, know that her dad is out here looking for her. After our little run-in with the Gunners, I needed to warn her to stay away from them. I know she probably won't hear it, but... But still, I had to try. Why didn't you tell me before? Well, it's hard to share this kind of stuff, you know? But I've really got to know you, and I know I can trust you with this kind of thing. I've not really spoken to anyone about Laura since I got here. <laughs> Unless you count the Ron. Anyway, thanks for listening. Feels good to finally share. Get everything off my chest. What is it now? Feral dwarves? Irradiated dev claws? What? What's all this about death claws? Oh, old Paul! <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't expecting visitors. How's it going, Paul? Well, cheese and crackers. You must be the ones with the ASM sensors, eh? Uh, me and my partner here, yeah. And they're called ASAMs. Is it true what the old geezer said? Can ASAMs really help build up settlements? Well, sure, as long as what your settlement needs are some homes, or farms, or a scrap heap. But I should warn you, recently there's been some trouble with- Gee, a scrap heap? Well, that settles it. We'll take 100 asums, please. Ah, uh, how many caps does that come to? Whoa, whoa, slow down. We're not just peddling some product here. Besides, I'm not even sure we should be handing these things out anymore. What do you mean? Why not? Don't tell me you've already forgotten. That Aiden guy may have been a Brahmin's ass, but he did have a point. It's a fair bet that settlement got attacked because they used ASAMs. Who's to say the same thing wouldn't happen again? It's a tough call. I feel like we have a moral obligation to try to help the Commonwealth, though. There's no good answer. Taking action puts us at risk, but inaction could be deadly. I'm just not sure it's right to give out sensors to random settlements no more. Not if it puts them in danger. If you're concerned about giving sensors out to strangers, why not have them join us instead? I've got no problem defending those we bring into the fold. Hey, we'd be happy to join with you. Right now we're kind of living rough, so whatever it takes to get some assums, eh? I don't know. You need to decide, Jake. What's it gonna be? I... I don't know. After the whole gunner thing. What do you think, darling? What's the right thing to do? Don't worry. I'll get you up and running. Really? You'd have us? Aw, oh, jeez, thanks. I still think we're maybe asking for trouble. But I think you're right. We can't be scared to help folks. Okay, let's do this. Oh, you really don't know what this means to us. 
Thank you so much. <laughs> no problem. Welcome to the family. Uh, Masai, what's your name? Hubert. Here, I'll mark where we're staying on your pit boy I'll run ahead and tell the others. Meet you there, eh? I'll tag along with the young'un. I'm fairly familiar with sensors by now. I'll get his people up to speed before you arrive. Here, darling, take these. A few extra ASAMs, in case you need them. Let's get these folks up and running. And if the gunners do show up again, well, we'll just have to put them in their place, won't we? I'm gonna get back to repairing the hub. Oh, and, uh, thanks again for listening today. Good luck now. Thanks for being so open with me, Jake. It means a lot. Oh, right, free loot. Paul, do you mind? Stalking robber duster. Hey. Let's have a look at that. I can dig it. Look like a real wastelander. Alright, so we gotta go and uh, follow these nerds. Well, not follow, but we do have to meet them down. And we're, uh, it's not too far from Sunshine Tidings. But we're gonna make the cut here for today. As always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single last one of you. Thank you again to all my patrons. You guys are the most generous people in the world, and I... I cannot express my appreciation for you nearly as much as I would like. But uh, as always, I will see you next time. Um, hopefully we'll be streaming some Story Wolf again pretty soon. I've been playing that a good bit. And it's honestly more fun than I expected it would be. So it's a pleasant surprise. So again, thank you all very much. And I will see you next time.